everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now I've been getting many questions from viewers about how to set up the AIG traffic controller for your VATSIM flights. So if you think that sounds interesting, we're going to cover all of the settings you need to know about right here on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. So welcome to the home screen everyone of Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you are new to the channel, I would love to welcome you. Don't forget to go down below and hit that subscribe and tick that little bell because you don't want to miss any future episodes just like this one. And if this video does help you out today, make sure to go down below and smash on that thumbs up button. It really helps us get found by viewers like yourselves. Now the first thing I want to do is address the elephant in the room and that's the user interface that we're looking at right now. <laughs> you're probably scratching your head saying, wait a minute, my screen doesn't look like that. And you're probably right. Now that's because I'm using the brand new Wingman user interface for the simulator. Now if you haven't seen it before, I'll post a link up here in the top right. You can check out my video. And if you just like to go over there and grab it up for yourself, Links will be down in the description for that. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's dive right into some of the settings that we're going to need to change in the simulator. Now you're going to notice off to the right here, I have my AIG manager right here and the AIG traffic controller right there. Now, if you haven't already gone into your AIG manager and downloaded all of your liveries and aircraft, what are you waiting for? I'll post a link up here in the top right Click on that and that will take you to the video tutorial on how to do all of that. But for this tutorial, we're going to assume you've already got everything downloaded and installed into your community folder. So the first thing that we need to do is come right down here into the general options menu. Then we're going to hop down here into the traffic menu. First thing that we need to do is to make sure that the aircraft traffic type is in the off position. You can then click show nameplates or don't show nameplates. Well, that's up to you. Next thing you want to do is to make sure that your ground aircraft density is on zero. Next, you want to go all the way down to the bottom to the AI and multiplayer traffic detail. And you want to make sure these are both in the off position. Also, the traffic variety we want in ultra. Now, the reason why we want to make sure that both of these are in the off position is because when vpilot injects the traffic into the simulator it will now show up with the correct livery and aircraft type so long as you've got it downloaded in the ai manager so now that you've got all that done all you need to do is click apply and save go back load into the sim start your vpilot and you are off and running all right, so that's going to wrap us up for today. I want to thank everybody for joining us here on today's video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe and tick that little bell. And if this video did help you out today, consider smashing on that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, post those down below as well. And to all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.